Hello there, my gel printing friends. Today we're going to create gel print image transfers and use stencils. And this is part of my gel prolage series. And if you're not familiar with gel prolage, basically it's just what I call gel print collage, where I actually do the collage on the plate and pull them. So I thought it'd be fun to share this session with you. I hope you enjoy. If we haven't met, my name's Lori Trumpet Williams, and I'm a mixed media artist, and I work a lot with alcohol ink and uh, mixed media projects. Some of you may know me from the alcohol ink art community. Today, um, I am using magazine printouts or, or magazine pages to create collage on the plate, and I'm also gonna mix it up a little bit this time with some stencils to create some really neat texture and interest in my gel prints. And I'm using a five by seven gel plate here. Um, I use uh, both gel press and the Jelly Arts plate, so I'm not even sure which brand this is, but I'm rolling out some of some heavier body black acrylic paint. Basically, I use Liquitex Basics for this. And now I'm going to start, I tear out pieces of magazine, so kind of one of my pastimes for fun, believe it or not, is just cutting out large, interesting looking text and pictures and stuff from magazines. My husband thinks I'm crazy, but I'm telling you, it's so therapeutic. I highly recommend it. Um, so what I'm doing here is just kind of laying down a collage um, as a first layer. I'm taking text, I'm taking images, um, taking any anytime I come across some interesting looking text in a magazine, I'm always, always like, oh, I gotta have that. And this tool right here is one of my favorite mark making tools. I made it out of a piece of cardboard and some crumpled up aluminum foil. And I even attached myself a little handle on there. So now I'm just pulling up and you can see text always looks really awesome on the on the plate and some of it comes across and some of it doesn't and I love that because it's so grungy and the pieces that don't end up or the areas that don't end up transferring like the like I usually just come back over them again and with something else um, so I try I don't get upset if something doesn't transfer because if you've tried image transfers you know they're not always successful there's so many uh, variations um, that play a role in it, such as humidity, the thickness of the paint, the dr how dry the paint is, how what the viscosity of the paint is, all those things are factors. All right, so I'm just adding a little bit of, um, this is more of a fluid acrylic, it's actually a craft acrylic paint, um, and it's this is a, like a hot pink color. And I'm taking my stencil and I'm just going to rub the brayer over it. Um, to add that pattern, I think this is a cool pattern, uh, to the plate. And you can use whatever stencils you have, or if you, you know, use your imagination too. You Maybe you just have other art mark making tools that you want to use to add texture. Same concept. Then I just take my stencil and, and uh, just brayer it off on a spare piece of paper. I keep these just like many of you probably do for collage work they end up looking quite interesting. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add a little turquoise here. I'm gonna to attempt to pull another um, image transfer from magazine here in this area. So I've just like rolled this in just the area that I want to, to uh, do the transfer. And this is my image, a nice contrast image. That's what's important. And a little, a little bit more time there. Okay. So I got a little bit of an image. It wasn't great. Um, I can still somewhat make it out, but it's not it's not my best uh, am, image transfer. So when that happens, I just pull out one of my texture tools and start adding in some texture just to make it look a little more interesting. Now just to spice up the color, I'm pulling in some bright yellow. And what I'm gonna do with this one is I think I'm gonna roll it over the entire plate and then use my stencil to add even more of that pattern in a different color on the background. Using the same stencil, this time I'm just laying it down and picking it up. Now 
nail comes the part I hate the most. I've got to wait for the paint to dry. So I'm actually speeding this up a little bit and jumping ahead for you so you don't have to watch that because I literally let the paint dry probably five minutes before coming to the next layer. Okay, on this final, um, what I call the pull layer, I uh, put down a little bit, not a little bit, actually too much of this um, Aliquitex. It's a heavy body, again, um, titanium white. And you can see, I know what you're saying, that's way too much paint on there to get a good pull. And so what I'm, I'm just gonna brayer some of that off. And it's still a lot on there, so what I'm gonna do is take um, my paper, and I use regular copy paper for these pulls, and I'm pulling just a very light pull just to pull some of the excess off the top. And then I'll use the other side of my paper to do the actual pull. Using my fingers, making sure that I have good contact all the way around. And I usually do this for um, sometimes a, a full minute. I And I'll go in circles and I'll rub up and down and left and right just so that I make sure that the um, paper has good contact. And you know you sort of have good contact when the paper starts to wrinkle. That's with this type of paper. If you're using a cardstock or, or like a watercolor paper, you probably wouldn't get the wrinkling as badly, but that's kind of how I know we're ready to do a pull. Okay, let's pull this thing. Oh my goodness. I just, my favorite part. I just love, love, love what we end up getting. And this one did not disappoint. Look how cool that is. Awesome. Who's ready to do another one? Okay, for this one, I had a novel idea. What if I plan it out ahead of time? And that's what I did. I cut out um, some pieces, or actually I pulled from my stash, but I thought a, bit, a little bit about what I wanted to accomplish with this one before I got started. So what I'm doing differently here this time is instead of using the Mars Black as my base coat, I'm using Titanium White. Um, remember the first thing that we put down on the gel plate is usually what shows up on top when we do our final pull. And so I thought, well, maybe we'll have some white text and see how that looks. So I just start out, I'm placing, um, I'm gonna randomly place this text all over the plate. I really love these big fonts. I think they add some serious drama and they really resist um, the paint very well, which means they leave behind very clear images on the plate. Okay, now when you lift up, you can see just what I'm talking about. That text leaves this really nice white um, image there. Honestly, this is so gratifying when you pull up those images. The, the letters are so grungy and cool looking. I just love it. There we go. So now we have the base coat. So before you do the next coat or add anything else, we need to make sure that um, you let this layer dry completely um, so that you don't pick it up when you get ready to do the next layer. Then when it's dry, I'm gonna drop a few drops of this turquoise and I'm gonna come back in with yellow. I like the, com the color combination of using this turquoise and the yellow and then when it blends together, it's a, little, a really nice green. So you'll see that here in just a second. Notice that I kind of pay attention a little bit about where I place the color too. Think, I'm thinking in the back of my mind where the eye might be drawn to um, for color. So I try to use a little bit of um, color composition through this. 
and then I'm going to use my handy dandy stencil here that I've been using for demonstration um, for this plate and then on the edge I just use my other mark making tool that I love and lift up a little bit so I don't make a hard edge there I already have a really good feeling about this one. Now I have to wait for this layer to dry before I come back in and, and this time I've actually dropped a little just a little drop of this pink to add some color in there um, while it's still wet a little bit. Uh, again thinking about you know where the eye is going to be drawn in the final piece and just adding a little splash of color here and there. Um, don't I didn't want to coat it and I didn't want a whole lot just a little bit Now that it's dried I think I want to come back in with a um, with the Mars bat black and try that with a dark background since we started with the white foreground this time instead of the dark foreground I thought um, we would finish off with a dark black ground and see how that goes so I'm just lightly covering it just so that I can do the pull and uh, let's see how it looks. Ooh, look, 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 this looks awesome. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I just love these. All right, let's try another one. So this time I'm going to start off again with the Mars Black. This is my base coat. So once again, I'm just lightly covering the plate. I go in both directions too, just to make sure I have a good coverage. Okay, so I have some um, magazine cutouts, some more text. I'm just going to start layering that on and I've already pulled out what I want to use on this one and I just cut, lay it down I take my finger and just like smoothly go over it and that's how I make sure that there's um, a pretty good contact uh, with the plate And then I, any exposed areas, I'm just coming through with my little um, aluminum foil texture tool. And then I pull back. So some of these didn't come out and there are a number of reasons why that could be um, but I'm not going to worry about that I am just going to move forward because look at some of the cool yummy stuff I'm getting on here this is so fun um, so I can just fill in those blanks with some additional image transfer and that's what I'll do I think I'll take one of these um, images I have set aside here and see if I can get an image pull from them so I'm just going to brayer on just a little bit more of that black acrylic um, and then uh, lay my image down and see what we get. I'll add some more text in that strip and I have this nice image of a guy and let's see what we get. Okay, a blob. That's what we got. But I'm just going to go with it. Okay, got some more nice text transfer. And I'll take my tool and like I said, when an image doesn't come out, add texture. It's all good. Okay, so I let that base coat dry on there good and now I want to add some some paint so that I can do some interest with my stencils. Just brayering on this pink. Again, this is just regular craft paint. 
using a nice thin coat. And here we go with the stencil again. Use my texture tool on the side. My stencil's not quite big enough to cover my plate, but I like it so much anyway, I thought, well, I'll just use pieces of it. And I just lift that up to see what neat texture is left behind. And we did get a, a decent amount of that pattern in there. So that, that looks pretty cool. I want to add some more color. I chose yellow to go along with the pink. Thought, I think that's a nice compliment. And I've decided to make this my pull layer. So I'm going to go ahead and cover the entire plate with a thin coat of this yellow. And I'm ready for my pull. Awesome! Would you just look at that? This stuff just blows me away. Okay guys, I'm gonna do one more. This time I'm fast forwarding through it so you don't have to watch everything, but I'm using the same exact process. So just layering down some text first. I started with the Liquitex um, Heavy Body uh, Mars Black, and I'm just kind of pulling up some Im images and what doesn't pull, I go back over again. And again, add my texture in there. When all else fails, go with text. That middle part just did not want to take, so I'm just doing, this is the third try, and look, that's perfect. Got it, going back over with my texture tool. I, I love this tool. It's just like the easiest, most inexpensive thing on the planet, and I made it myself, and it look at the cool texture it gives it. So I'm gonna use a little bit of um, an orange and a yellow, again, craft paint on top, add my stencil, And using the titanium white, I'm ready to do my pull. So thanks for watching. Um, I, as you can tell, have a very good time doing this. So definitely give it a shot. And if you share it in social media, use the hashtag JailProLodge. And that way I can feature you on the website, which is um, JailProLodge.com. I'll, I'll put that in the uh, notes here for the video. But uh, do subscribe if you like these videos and you want to see more. Uh, it helps me out a lot if you subscribe. It gives me more playtime and more exposure, and I really, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for future videos. We're mad about mixed media. It's art without bounds. Let's learn, create, and delight with joy. There's inspiration.